Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at the new BMW 5 Series here at the BMW stand. And as you can see, this is the new generation model, the completely new design. So let's start here on the front where you can see the beautiful LED lights. So the LED as standard and then the adaptive LEDs with matrix function uh, as an option. A beautiful daytime running LEDs, uh, really giving it strong appearance on the road. And so does this new grille. And you see here we have the satin finish on the edges and this is the i5 so the electric version more about the powertrains a bit later on there are various options available for the buyers of course and now we move on here to the side now i also want to mention that this car does not have the m sport package uh, then the car would have more sporty design if you spec that and here i think this also looks very nice very classy but let me show you the car from this angle i think you will see it better from here now the wheels uh, so these uh, have very nice design they are the 20 inch ones 245 40 r20 and you have the dual tone and also they are pretty aerodynamic as well the side skirts here on this trim you can see them very pronounced and uh, then also on the m sport they would be a bit different also the rear bumper would be a bit different now we come to the rear of the car which is probably my favorite angle this uh, the one that we are currently in from this angle so uh, look at the beautiful taillights the horizontal taillights that really make the car so elegant and uh, now here i want to show you them from close i5 lettering and the e-drive 40 so this is the i5 e-drive 40 and design wise uh, bmw uh, has the same design for the electric cars and the other models so the petrol diesel plug-in hybrids now let me show you the trunk so if i press this the electric tailgate opens and we have a lot of room in here also i can show you the additional room here and then the hooks for your shopping bags and uh yeah well definitely a practical vehicle press this to close the tailgate there we go once again from this angle probably my favorite angle of the car uh, looks so classy so elegant and you see very pronounced bumper and once again those wheels and the five lettering here on the c-pillar giving it strong appearance on the road and this car is actually longer than the predecessor and now it is time to show you the interior and first of all look at the door handles they have the new design and they are also very aerodynamic and feels very nice to open the door with them here we are greeted with a very nice modern interior and uh, let me show you this the door panel with the standard switches for the windows and the mirrors and you can open the tailgate with this switch as well these are the lovely seats i love the pattern here and they are also very comfortable and now it's time to see it from driver's perspective all right so this is it the view from driver's perspective with the digital cockpit in front of the driver and the main touchscreen and they are connected so you have this curved screen looking gorgeous the dashboard itself has got a very nice design you can also see the beautiful ambient lighting the wireless charging pad and the cup holders uh, you have this beautiful controller here and uh, this is the optional extra i believe i would take this as uh, this really looks very nice and gives the interior an extra special feel start stop button and then the minimalistic gear selector volume has the you can actually adjust the volume with this physical button here sort of like the roller and if we press this um, additional storage room speaking about storage room let me show you the glove compartment so you press this button to open it and now we are ready to explore the infotainment system and actually let's start with the my modes so if i press this uh, you can change between different modes so let's put the sport mode look at this so the ambient lights illuminate uh, in this beautiful dual tone now here as you can see and uh, efficient i love the way that they sort of like the load 
looks so cool and expressive I mean how gorgeous is this you see the whole theme changes and uh, also relax there we go and uh, digital art very very cool indeed now let's put the personal one so let's actually put the sport one and see the settings there we go so you can adjust the drivetrain driving dynamics steering uh, seat support for sporty driving and, or the uh, reset of the settings so let's go back and uh, yeah well as you can see lovely layout here and then this is the new infotainment system if I press this uh, I go into the sort of like the main menu where you can control all the functions and let's change the interior lighting again but this time sort of like the manually here for example look at this how cool is that you can also adjust the background light uh, brightness so that is so cool and uh, this looks phenomenal I can imagine that driving during the night must be a very special feel in this car there we go look at the green one so tell me in the comments which one is your favorite I will put this blue one I think it suits the car very well and uh, yeah let's go back and let me also show you the details of the digital cockpit so you can change the content that we have here in front of us so you can also have the map view and uh, some cool details are available uh, let's put the this one on I think it's a cool one and then the layout here can also be changed so there are a few options available like the classic layout and then this maybe a bit more sporty in my opinion and this minimalistic one so yeah and you can also change the head-up display uh, views I think you can see the details here let me zoom in there we go very very cool indeed and uh, yeah speaking about the AC controls they are here and you also have the climate screen special uh, layout so you can adjust the air blower and also the temperature and you have the individual settings as well but yeah this is the climate control and I also want to show you the navigation so we are in the beautiful city of Chicago and as you can see impressive uh, 3d view of the buildings here in front of us on the navigation screen so once again I think during the night with the navigation turned on and those ambient lights this is gonna be so nice and so smooth to drive and by the way I must mention that the two-spoke steering wheel comes with this trim and then if you go for the M Sport trim then you also have the different uh, three-spoke steering wheel which is more sporty share your thoughts with me which one would you choose let me show you the sun visor there we go hello here you have the lights and also the sun visor for the passenger and this car also has the sunroof as well and look this is cool so the door handle has a very nice integration here into the door panel and this car also has the Bowers and Wilkins sound system the situation at the rear bench we have the USB C port and uh, look at the illumination of the speakers how cool is that in the middle you do get the air vents USB-C ports this car has the heated rear seats as well some little storage room 
and uh, the middle armrest that has the adjustable cup holders. And for my head, still some room left on 1 meter 87. So this is how it looks at the rear bench. I could sit here for hours without problems. And uh, yeah, well, even though I would prefer to drive this car, of course. Let us now check out the specifications. This is the 2024 BMW i5 eDrive 40. Here's the MSRP. It is the all electric car, 335 horsepower, 81 kilowatt hour battery. And you can pause the video here to see the details. And uh, here is the optional equipment for the new BMW 5 Series. So for example, metallic paint uh, would cost you $650. If you want a special frozen pure gray metallic paint, then you pay more. And uh, also, for example, the Bowers and Wilkins surround sound. And this is something that I would actually spec BMW Iconic Glow Kidney Grille, uh, which gives the car a special look because then you have the illuminated front grille. And the M Sport package that I was telling you about, $3,000 gives you more sporty look. In terms of powertrains, there's a lot to choose from, but it also depends on the market. So I'm from Europe. In Europe, we have a bit of a different options compared to US. So in Europe, you can get petrol, diesel, plug-in hybrid and electric versions. And here, uh, as I understood, you have the electric versions, petrol, plug-in hybrid. So those are the options. And uh, tell me in the comments, which powertrain would you choose? All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe to the channel. Many more to come and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.